Hello and welcome to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 15.1. This is a show that revolves around the African community in diaspora, of course, starting with us in Texas, and of course by extension, the United States of America. This is 2021. You know, we've been off by, what, a year? 2020 has been a dramatic year, I would say. You know, it's affected a whole lot, uh, a whole lot of... Um, activities that we naturally would have done. We eventually went virtual just so we can keep our community informed of occurrences, of course, regarding their health and, you know, the CDC regulations on COVID-19 and how it's affected businesses and um, enterprises and, of course, your homes and individuals. And unfortunately, we lost a lot of people um, in, in this unfortunate event. And guess what? We are back, bigger and better. This is Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. This year, we are talking about the Nigerian independence, 2021. And we, we have a whole lot of lineup for you. For, you know, we're talking about from events from um, African Day, Parade and African Festival, and our great, our great hosts um, over the years. Uh, Clara Iguala, of course, has been doing this for the last eight years. And, you know, Three years ago, I think the mayor gave her the proclamation, it's her day, um, and in September sometimes. And, you know, we've been enjoying good food, good culture, good tradition about Africa and, and Nigeria, especially on this, you know, uh, during this time of the year, uh, every year for the last uh, eight years. Unfortunately, we had to go virtual last year, 2020, but we're back and better, like I said. And also we have uh, amongst our lineup is also, you know, the uh, We Lead team and the culturally Niger uh, people that are, you know, bringing another uh, vibe to this uh, African, or um, rather Nigerian independence uh, on the same day. We have Jane Udoewa and of course Linda Anukwem that are, you know, leading this process also with the, of course, collaboration with the Houston um, city um, and also uh, Wazobia. These are guys that are committed to, to bringing our culture to life. And anyway, before I talk too much, let me bring y'all back so we can get them rolling. Don't touch the dial. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. You know, this is a station that revolves around the African community in Texas, and of course, by extension, the United States of America. Welcome. Today, we are going to be talking about Nigeria's independence and choosing no other than one of our classic hosts in the past eight years that has been promoting the African culture, you know, our traditions in terms of food, um, fashion, beauty, just name it, and also they do giveaways to students, to adults, free haircuts and all of that in the past eight years. And today is none other than Clara Iguala. I don't know Yeah, but, you, well, did I say Clara got married? Yes, she did. You, don't let me be the one to introduce your new last name. It's Clara Iguala Anumege. Anumege. And no make it. Where's yeah, Anumega from? There, of course I was. Would I miss it for I, anything? What are you yeah, talking about? I remember. Yes, of course I, I would. I, I was there. When I was carrying my, my I know. You're <laughs> <laughs> when you were looking for your husband, it was hidden right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Things like that, you know, staying in someone's mind. Aww. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful moment. Thank you, yeah. Congratulations once again. How's baby doing? Baby is good. I've had a baby since then also. I know. She's a big girl. Yeah, a lot of people don't know so much, but, you know, yes, it's yes. good catching up with you again. I know <clears throat> I know. since the last time we've had pandemic, right, uh, the COVID-19 thing, how has that affected um, the Nigerian um, Independent Parade? The Independent Parade? Um, the festival. The festival. Yeah, and, you know. It, well, what, what we did last year, we still had it, even though... That even though there was a pandemic, what we, what we did was we put precautions in place, and we also used it as a mechanism, uh, a way to give out masks, um, hand sanitizers. We had free COVID testing also, you know. Yeah, I remember. We had, yeah. Um, free P 
PCR all around town. We gave it for free before. I know it's, it's, it's free now in a lot of places, but we we, we sponsored it and covered not the a time. lot of people's um, tests because not everybody was able to get the test. You know, if you didn't have social security number, if you didn't have certain all of those things at the know, time before it became sure. open to everybody. We not we made sure everyone was covered, and so we we didn't have the full big blast as we did, but we couldn't go without doing it because it's a, it's something that we're giving back to communities. So mm. We still gave out school supplies. We still gave out. We even gave out school clothes. Still gave out scholarships. Wow. Um, dance competition. We still had you know a lot of things, and you know this even, even though it's a pandemic, we the family still needed stuff, especially the Nigerian community. Fantastic. So this year Nigeria is going is turning sixty one. Wow. Wow. And you've been doing this promoting Nigerian culture in the Houston area, in Texas in general, because I, I, by us going live with it, and when we showcase it, 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 you know, people get to see it all over the world, yes. right? So, which is the beauty of our collaboration, right? So now, I want to ask, what are your, what are you doing this year for the Nigerian Day Festival? For the Nigerian Day Festival, our goal this year, the mission this year, is to feature and promote Nigerian cultural attire. We really want to showcase the true culture. There's so much beauty in Nigeria, so much depth uh, with, with true fashion, our true fashion. I don't mean the stuff that we wear to parties, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the true things that show the culture. You know, a lot of different other cultural events, they have their events, and you come and you get to see, you know, Greek outfits. You come and see Mexican outfits. Yeah, the way it is, yes, yeah. in its authenticity. Certain um, Caribbean outfits, the Caribbean um, events, you see full Caribbean outfits. We need to all wear this outfit to show people the true culture. Yeah, but you know, <clears throat> where fashion is going now, we've adulterated our fashion. Um, we we don't wear it in its original form. Yes, I've noticed that. So when when we don't wear it in our in its original form, it gets lost, and hmm. we don't know what the true culture is. A lot of uh, even some Nigerians who grew up here don't know true traditional culture from Edo, from Akwai Palm, from um, River State. There's there's true beauty than what, just wearing some lace or wearing some acro, mm. you know? So uh, each year we do do a fashion parade on that, but we are giving away $2,000. 1,000 to the best female, 1,000 to the best male. Wow. GTA Mortgage and Finger Licking Restaurant. You know, Finger Licking also has a new location. Yeah, so I heard. I've never been though, but I, I heard that. So, um. I know in past interviews, you've talked about, um, you know, how, what got you started and, you know, shows, a whole lot of shows that you've promoted. Mm -hmm. What keeps you going? I mean, this year, I mean, against all odds, you know, and, and I learned also there are others that are coming up with the same kind of thing yeah. you've been doing in the past few years. Um, but what keeps Clara going? Well, the difference also with me is I do it from the heart. This is something that I do. I, I don't do it for competition. I don't do it for... Uh, the camaraderie. I, I, I do it to give back to the community in, in general. I also know that there's a lot of people who are from Africa who don't know exactly where they're from. Mm. Something to give them, something to hold on to. So the closure. Our, yes, the closure. Our, our, so our culture can also continue to be passed on. You know, if uh, if us second generations are not passing it on, it's not gonna it's not gonna keep going. You know, we need to keep the culture alive. We need to embrace let, let others embrace us also you know it's not just some people are like oh, okay nigerians are good for throwing money at parties that's not <laughs> all we're good for so you know this is a chance this is also a chance for people in the houston area to right. come and learn more about about the nigerian culture. nigerian culture and this is particularly about nigeria right because yes. it's nigeria's independent yes. um two years ago it was uh the nigerian day festival day in houston yes. texas yes. what day was that that was September 29th, yes. Becoming a year already. Yes, so you're talking two, two, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, two years ago when, I mean, yes. becoming two years ago rather, yes. uh, that the mayor came and, yes. and, and, you know, gave you that, that I was that was a proud moment. I was so proud, I was so shocked because I always, I don't like to be on the forefront, I don't like to be on the spot. I know, because whenever there's anything, you're always <laughs> trying to hide. I'm, so I, I do it, I, I don't need my name on anything. I, if, if you notice on the flyers, I don't put my name, I don't put my company name. We. This is the Nigerian community doing mm, this. So it's for it's Nigerian, for Nigerian, by Nigerians. It's for the African American community. It's for the white American. It's for everybody to come and embrace and love Nigeria. It's, it's huge, though, for the mayor people. to actually come out, to, to support, to endorse yes. the African Day um, um, uh, Festival. Yes. That, that's huge. We, we, we've confirmed he'll be there also today, this year. Oh, fantastic. Yes. That's awesome. Well, when, you, when you talk about um, this Nigerian Day, what's unique about 
the one you put together. Because this year I learned you're not just going to be doing Houston, you're extending it to Dallas. Yes, yes, yes. we're doing it in different places. What's different and what's unique is that this is a platform for Nigerians in the community to also promote themselves. Um, this is also a, a place where a lot of people in Houston could come and learn about different businesses, Nigerian businesses who own businesses and get their names out there. Because some, not everybody ha has the right marketing tools, not everybody has the great promotion, but this is a chance for people to see Nigerians are not just scammers or just, you know, stuff like that. It, even if even if there's a thought about Nigerians being scammers, it's just a minute percent of Nigerians, but that's what's pronounced, what right? Really and which is one of the beautiful things about what you're doing with this uh, festival, it's to bring out the, not just the culture, but also the Africans that are legitimately doing business yes, exactly. in the United States, especially here in Texas, Houston precisely, exactly. um, you know, so they can showcase their, their work, the beauty of what they do and all of that. So, who are those behind this year's um, uh, event? The, orga the organizers? Or Not just the well, You can talk about the organizers because I was still coming back to the organizers because when we're talking about the venue, the dates and all of that, we still want to talk about that. But however, sponsors, you know, because these are the people that were never forced to do. They yeah, felt right. they need to give back. So, they came out to support what Clara put together and her team put together and they came out to support. So there has to, because this definitely will cost a lot of money. And, and I know it's, it don't, might not break anybody's banks, but then uh, people coming together, especially um, industries, companies, you know, coming out to say, hey, Clara, whatever it is you want to do, we want to give back to the Nigerian community, especially those of African descent that may want to participate or feature in this year's event. So who are these sponsors, if you want to talk about, them, just so we can appreciate them also. Okay, sure. Glaze Donut, Osa Ohen, is our longtime nice. sponsor. Um, Tito Lajobi with Nice Refund. He is always, you know, he they come to us and say, hey, you want to be a part of this again this year. GTA Mortgage and um, Finger Licking. Also a Jeep t-shirt production. They are oh, wow. sponsors of this event. Nice. So and I, I learned that usually our food for people to come out to buy some have a taste of what it feels to enjoy the authentic African cuisine. This year we are also giving, for the first 50 people who arrive, we're mm. giving 50 free plates of jollof rice. Uh, jollof. The best I, jollof rice in the If world. you ever follow me on social media, you already know I'm a foodie and I love everything African food, right? And when she says African jollof, there's still war, a war going out there uh, between the Ghana jollof and... Who is we? Nigerians. Nigerians. I'm African. Nigerians, oh, Nigerians have the best. <laughs> I'm just playing because Ghanaians will be like, we have the best and whatnot. Guys, it's not competition. Yeah, it's pretty good. Of course, it is good. Cool, but, but you know, there's just something about this Nigeria, man. Come on now. Yeah, awesome. So tell us, um, where are you having it this time? At 11933 Bissonette. Houston, Texas, 77099. Um, What's the name of the Royal, the Hall. Royal Hall? That's 11933 Bisonet Street, Houston, Texas, 77099. Yes. Fantastic. What time are we expected to do this this year? From 1 p.m. to 7. Oh, Houston time. Yes. And it's on a Saturday, right? Yes. Which is the October 2nd? Yes, October 2nd. That's the day after the actual Independence Day, which is a Friday, right? Because, of course, people will go to work. America Okay, it's the capital of this country, so the people will go to work. So you're giving them time to relax, get themselves prepared for Saturday, which is a day between the weekend, Saturday, so they can relax at least on Sunday before going back to work on Monday. That's beautiful. So would there be anything to expect outside of uh, the norm? or? So we will have a lot of people from the city, from um, Congress, from like city councilmen also, judges, different people who are there. Nice. We're, we're, we're inviting everyone. This is not just for Nigerians. This is not for only Nigerians, for everyone to come out to be able to experience the Nigerian so culture. We love everybody. To, if, if they can put together, you can make your own outfit. You can buy it, put it together. We're giving away a thousand dollars to the best, most unique cultural Nigerian outfit for men and women. So that's two thousand total. Wow. But, so in the past, you've done a lot of giveaways. This year, there's still going to be giveaways. Yes, there's still going to be a very very nice dance contest that's happening at 4 p.m. Nice. So there's going to be a dance contest, mm -hmm. um, giveaway, lots of foods, uh, the culture, 
the um, fashion and at length if people still want to participate in their vendors event they can still call right and the number to call is 832-461-6729 is that correct so yeah and in the past i know we, while we're trying to round up it but in the past you not in the past past but i think it was last year or something or earlier this year i believe and we had that end SARS in nigeria you mobilized a lot of Nigerian and non-Nigerians that support the movement uh, in, in Houston. I think it was the largest in the United States ever, I think about 2,000 participants. Yes. How were you able to pull that off? Um, uh, one of the one of the group members that does Nigerian Day, Choma, she, she came to me and said, hey, let's do this. And I was like, it, it, it's, it's Monday. It, yeah. It's Saturday. How are we going to do this, you know? But we had to reach out to our contacts. I have, you know, I've built a lot of contacts within all the different groups. Right, in Nigeria. right. And I said, hey, I said, let me make phone calls, not just send text blasts. Let me, let me make phone calls to everybody who's the head of every organization. I did it. I wasn't saying, okay, only these kind of people, this kind of age, everyone. This is this affects everyone. So, um, so um, Congressman Al Green came out, and he took this as a, a personal um a personal task and he's went to Congress he's done different things he has really put in a lot of things in motion to end SARS and he's really really helped out in Nigeria you know so that event was very very successful and it was very it was a very very successful because I remember the whole Obisa net was almost yes. closed out and that's the longest the Nigerian street yeah but they blocked it out and I'm, I'm glad the the city also supported the movement because they they had the police officer not to harass anybody or to you know they help uh you know control the traffic and all of that yes Mr. Shalaton. yeah facilitated, facilitated that, that and helped us with everything oh fantastic and um dr chris ulassi Ul oh dr oh dr ulassi yeah awesome great people they support i mean so these are um adults these are grown-ups that still support the youths in their movement um, they believe in what is right and which one of the reason you stepped out to say you know what guys let's come together it doesn't matter, matter our differences or whatnot let's come together and get this done let's support let nigeria in africa know understand that we are with them during this hard time because a lot lots of lives were lost um a lot of people were injured a lot of people's business were displayed displaced and people places burnt you know and, and a whole lot of a lot of stuff happened in nigeria at the time and you know and i'm glad i'm glad 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 that percent was able to also support that movement and um, which is what we do anyway you know so any final words to anyone and to nigeria as a whole for the 61st birthday For 61st birthday, I want to say happy birthday, 61st birthday to Nigeria and especially to the Nigerians and the diaspora, you know, a lot of us know different things that's going on in Nigeria, mm -hmm. a lot of us know um, the endeavors, you know, though we're celebrating the 61st, you know, there's still a lot of issues, with right. corruption, a lot of things that's going on. It takes a lot of us to take a stand and let our voices be heard, you know. If we can make our voices heard from here in Houston, it goes a long way. It does. So we can make a change even from Houston, Texas. So you can start with us. Yes. Exactly. The change we expect <clears throat> can also start with us. Yes, exactly. All right, very well. Well, thank you, Claire. Thank you so much for joining us. And guys, if you're watching us today, um, I want to encourage you to please come out and support the Nigerian Day Festival on October 2nd, 19, uh, as in 19, I'm way back there, huh? yeah. <laughs> October 2nd, 2021, of course, uh, on Bisonet Street, uh, that's 11933 Bisonet Street, Houston, Texas, 77099. It starts at 1 p.m. and ends at 7 p.m. It's a Saturday, October 2nd, of course. And um, the number to call if you're a vendor and you want to participate in this, Please reach out to 832-461-6729. Again, it's 832-461-6729. We hope to see you there. We will be there to, uh, to represent our culture, of course, which is who we are, what we do, and we are Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. Claire, thank you once again. Thank you. We we'll look forward to seeing you then. And all the best in all the endeavors, especially in Dallas, because we know we got Houston. Yes. All right. Don't touch the dial. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome to my community on Afrocentric Television on Channel 15.8. This is a show that revolves around the Africans in diaspora, especially those of us here in Texas. My name is Kola and I remain your host. 
Welcome back as we bring our host today, these beautiful ladies in the Houston area. You girls, I, I, before I introduce you, you have been doing a whole lot of things in this Houston area. A whole lot. You wear different hats, professionals. And yes, I don't know how y'all keep it together, but here, here's with us uh, Jane Udwewa and also Linda Anukwam. Welcome to my show, my show. Of course, it's our show. I gotta get that left out. I missed that. It's been a while. How y'all doing? I'm good. Good. Thanks. Y'all looking us. well. Y'all look like the pandemic ain't got nothing on y'all. It's God. Oh, ain't that right? Well, yeah, it is right. But this is this is 2021. 2020 has been. Um, should I say demanding year? Because it, it took a whole lot from every one of us, right? Mm -hmm. We couldn't do so much where we had to reshuffle, we had to redo a lot of things and adjust in so many ways to do stuff. And um, now that, and that was when Nigeria turned 60. Yes. We couldn't even celebrate Nigeria as much as we would love to. But yeah. still, y'all trying to do some stuff, right? Yeah, um, we collaborated with New York last year that you know they have their annual parade mm -hmm. um we did a virtual parade together with new york yes but got so good 2021 we're back stronger better in right person. in person i'm glad i'm vaccinated i'm sure you're allowed to that is personal information. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it, it sounds like going to like get to your CDC record. But then, <laughs> 2021, though, so we have, this year we have the Nigerian Cultural Parade and Festival. Yeah. Can you give us an overview of what this is about? It's the fifth annual that Culturally Niger and We Lead is hosting. Um, I will say this year, I guess people were tired from last year. Because there's definitely a lot of movement mm -hmm. for this year. For this year's parade. For this year's parade. Where is this going to be at this time? Same? Same location. Downtown? downtown Houston, Root Memorial Park, 1400 Clay Street. What's the landmark? The major landmark around there? So. Near the Toyota Center. Oh, it's right near the Toyota Center. Nice. So, um, who are the sponsors this year? Because, uh, I mean, last year, or oh, no, two years ago, we, we had the city of Houston, of course, and Wazobia. Uh, yes. These are your major sponsors, and um, you know, can you tell us a little bit more about them? So this year, I mean, like I said, they came in very strong. We do have Wazobia again leading the um, class of sponsors. Yeah. We do have the city of Houston um, giving us funding as well. Um, we do have Aid Money, which is a African-owned money transfer. Mm. They're coming in big. They'll be sponsoring. That's A I D E money. Yes. Yes. They'll be sponsoring a spelling bee contest for um, kids under age 12. Each kid will walk away with a prize. Of course, the final three winners will walk away with cash prizes. Oh, wow. Um, we have Crown Royal. So oh, so much expectation this year, <laughs> huh? Okay. So, for people who stop by, we'll, you'll be getting a sample of an exclusive whiskey. Um, so, for us, whiskey... <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, who else did I miss? Those are our top sponsors. That's However, cute. we do have majority. We do have um, nice, nice refund. refund. It's a knob and Matthew. Um, a Quibon. Yes, Nakibon. <laughs> Nakibon USA. How about you? <laughs> My people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. media, Afrocentric. Yay. Afro vibes. And then nice. Houston, Houston Magazine. Yes. Oh, bravo. Everybody's coming out strong. Yes, and yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we are always there to support what, you know, especially when it comes to Africans in diaspora. And you ladies, I don't know where you get the energy from. I know it's not going to be easy to put all of this together. So where, where do you where do you get this trend from the inspiration from? Um, you have to answer individually. Don't speak for <laughs> each other. That's what I was gonna say. I'm gonna say, you know, trying to push um, our presence out there um, and to really just showcase the culture. I mean, you're talking about planning that we start a year out. Yeah, so hmm. it's not something that we do overnight. But yeah, coming from me, my inspiration is, you know, let's get seen, let let the Nigerian culture be showcased to the fullest if possible. And you? 
I mean, yeah, she said it all. One thing that helps is planning early. Start we start in January, well, even the year before actually, and yeah. we have a we have a template <laughs> that's laid out that we follow. So so that will is is everything up for y'all too. Yeah. It helps. So yeah. yeah. What what's unique about this year's uh, parade and festival? Mm. I, I'm going to have to say we have more um, communities being represented. River State, Binu State, of, of course, Aquaibum. Um, even some of the smaller communities that you don't necessarily hear about here in Houston, because, mm -hmm. you know, we always hear about, you know, you're about an evil and definitely Aquaibum. But, you know, um, we do have some of the other communities who have actually reached out to us to say, we want to showcase, we want to showcase. We're here, we're a large group here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on the parade side. On the festival side, what's new is expansion. Yes. <laughs> so what are we to expect in terms of the culture display, you know, cultural display, the fashion, what are we, what are we, it's food, right? It's going to be food, of right? Because that's part of our culture, uh, culture yes. and heritage, right? And so, yes. And I'm still coming back to that because uh, I, I remember, I think it was two years ago or thereabouts, you, you featured uh, MCPC, right? Yes. So this year, do you have another host for this year? We're still, that's going to be a surprise. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you don't want to, I mean, so but the culture, let's mm -hmm. go back to the culture, to the culture because, and fashion, yeah. Because that's the importance, that's really the main goal of the parade. We leverage it independence, but really it's exactly. about the culture, not the green and white. Hmm. It's to showcase, like, wow, all these different tribes. Look at this tradition, that tradition, this tradition. So you will see multiple masquerades, but coming from four different communities. Wow. At least minimum, four different communities as far as, you know, masquerades. Um, because in 2019, Wisovia helped us with offering um, the cultural contest for $1,000. So that really put things into nice. motion to yeah. encourage that, hey, when you come out, don't just come out in a t-shirt. Come, come out, out in your African attire. Yes. yes. Beautiful. <laughs> so, um, I mean, this year it looks like you have a whole lot of things planned out, though you don't want to unleash a whole lot of them so people can come out. It's a surprise to a whole lot. Well, I did tell you about the spelling bee. Right. <laughs> well, we encourage everyone to sign up, register for the event on Eventbrite because we'll be sharing vital information. On the there. So, yes. um, is there a page in your website? Let's add to your. Let's add to what you're asking for. Okay. So remember, I mentioned we is expansion. So we actually starting off the week on Thursday. Thursday is an opening reception in the Galleria area, which will showcase art display by local Nigerian artists and a masquerade. When you said display. local, you mean Dosia in the Houston area? Ophelia Designs, Angela Coker, um, X1 Art, Leah De Great Art. Um, basically four of them that will be showcasing their art canvases, but all of it will just, again, screen Nigerian culture. Wow. Along with the installation of about 12 masquerades, um, it'll be the same night where we'll be launching the souvenir booklet that, you know, for the parade. Mm, nice. It's also the same night where the city of, um, city hall will be lit up in green and white. Oh, oh nice. Be lit up yes. on the eve of, of course, Nigerian oh, independence. Which we're thinking is going to be the 20th, no, the 30th, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So but this one you just mentioned, um, it's news to me. Uh, it's new, but they man, it see, see the surprises you, you guys are throwing in, just one after the other. Like, on the website. Uh, yeah, follow so that's why I need people to get involved. Can you can you share the website once again, please? NigeriaCulturalParade.com NigeriaCulturalParade.com And that starts on Thursday at yes. the gallery with yes. art showbiz. A showcasing of uh, canvases, uh, you know, and arts, you know, Philly and, and the rest of them. Oh, wow. And then Houston downtown the, is going to lit up in green, white, green. And I see you wearing green, white, green under your jacket. I'm still, you know. That's the official parade t-shirt. 
which nice. <laughs> nice. The official parade T-shirt is actually on sale as well, <laughs> and they can get it on the on the, on the website. website. Yes. And also on the website, they can sign up or they can register to attend. Is there a cost to attend in this? No. The sponsors took care of that. Yes. Well, shout out to our sponsors. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bravo. So um. Um, so you have Thursday and then Saturday, anything happening on Friday? Friday um, is still the exhibition, but without the flare. <laughs> yeah. Without the flare. It's a two-day in case you miss the, the Thursday, first. So yet. you come back the next because, yeah, it makes sense. So what time does that start, though? And where in the gallery area? Okay, so it's 5 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, it's Both days, right? Thursday and Friday. Yes. Okay. AB Players Theater which is at 5420 West Timer. On West Timer. Yeah, in the gallery. Really close to um, the gallery. I think like right around Trinity Rock area. That would be the major cross road. Cross road. Okay, fantastic. So um, this year, all these events you have planned and put together, um, what does this mean for Nigerians in diaspora? And what does it mean for Nigeria as our country? Mm. Good question. I, well, I guess it's a personal hope. Um, it allows all these platforms and particularly, you know, with the parade to also showcase a community of people come together, which means unity. Mm -hmm. Love that. I love that. You know, because so. Nigeria is so diverse, so many languages, so many cultures, so many traditions. And then, you know, this is a platform where you can showcase this and see it live. And even those that are in, in the United States or in diaspora as a whole um, can actually tap into their culture just because they're seeing it live. If they see the beauty that comes with it, they see the tradition, they see how it's done, they probably just want to be a part of it. Maybe that can encourage tourism to Africa. You said it. Yeah. Basically, that's all we have the catchphrase, no passport required. Huh, see? <laughs> I mean I I need to start working for you guys. <laughs> no passport required. Yeah. I love that. I love the caption. No passport required to be an African. So you can be white, black, purple, green, and you know, it doesn't matter. Come out, come all, awesome. come enjoy with us, come learn yeah. from our culture, and this is what you know we're bringing as we lead. And you said um, culturally Niger, culturally Niger, and that's deep. <laughs> I love that <laughs> culturally Niger. I love it. You know, you know, there's something that was unique about Nigerians. They just they they proudly. Nigerians, yes. you know, there's been misconceptions about Nigerian, of course, where one or zero point zero zero one percent are misrepresented, you know. Yeah. But then and they still say they are Nigerian. Everybody is, around. you know. So yeah. when when I see things like this, it brings me joy, you know, that people are still doing stuff to promote the beauty of Africa, especially Nigeria, in in diaspora. And thanks to you, ladies, for for leading the way for making it happen and in collaboration with Wazobi and the city of Houston, you know, that's beautiful. And then again, it's going to be on Saturday, um, 14, October, October 2nd, 2nd mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. And that will be at uh, 14, 10 a.m. Yes. to 4 p.m. Yes. Um, 1400 Clay Street, not Clay Road, guys. I said that earlier, not Clay Road, Clay Street is going to be downtown. Yes. Right, and that the closest um, landmark will be the Toyota Center. Yes. Right, and so be there on time. Come in your African tie. If you don't have one, if you're my size, <laughs> I have something for you. Just <laughs> reach out to me. I, I always have something. You know, instead of donating it now, just reach out to me. And we have vendors that will actually be on site. So you can always get yours. Yeah. Okay, let me keep my closet. <laughs> You know, let's, I mean, we support the vendors too. Yeah. Because they, 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 they're coming out, they're sponsoring this event, they're making it happen so people can be a part of it. So it's always a good thing. Thank you so much, ladies. Any, any, you know, so Niger, before I let you go, um, Nigeria turned 61, October yeah. 1st. Any word for that? This is not about general stuff. You have to say what you think, and she has to say what she thinks. I just want yeah, us to course. talk about. <laughs> Any word for Nigeria, you know, giving us hope for another beginning? I will say this. I mean, you know, um, I, I hear a lot of complaints about what happens on ground in the country, but I also look at the years of um, 
as you said, 61. And people like to compare it to the U.S., but U.S. has been developing over 200 years. Right. I mean, so we're still very young in age. Um, but I do feel that, um, man, Nigerians in general, if they can just keep that innovative side, uh, I think we can really go far. I mean, I've been paying attention just to even just the fintech field, mm. and they're constantly being funded millions. Yep, millions. millions. And then, you know, we are the second largest uh, user of a uh, Bitcoin in the world, you know, so. So it says a lot. It does. You know, it does. Like, We're catching up real fast. And all over the world, you see professional, professionals, uh, doctors, um, uh, you know, um, just name it, professional athletes. Uh, name it. We are, we are everywhere. But yet, of course, we don't get to see all of that. And that's why we here exactly. are to promote what Africans, Nigerians precisely are about. Right. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on that? I mean, I totally agree. There's there's so much potential. But as we said earlier, sometimes the negative um, overshadows that. But there are people moving quietly. There, it, there's a lot going on. Oh, we will bring them out. <laughs> the world needs to see yeah. that, you know, they are Nigerians that are positive. We're positive image. So, yeah, right? change, change is coming. Change is coming. And we lead the way. <laughs> That's right. right? That's I like right. that. Well, ladies, thank you so, so much, guys. If you've not been with us all along and you're just joining us, so this is Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. And with us today is Linda Anokwem and Jane Udoewa. So um, we will be, uh, rather they will be leading us with um, the Nigerian Festival and Parade. Um, it's happening, it starts on Thursday, the 29th, I believe. Um, oh, that's 30th? Yes. And Saturday the 1st of October. Friday oh, Friday the 2nd. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I'm missing my dates so. Oh, and before we, we go. are, um, what's the word? Downed the official Nigerian parade event for the weekend. For the weekend. All right, did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Recap. Anyway, so, and there's a website. You have to help me out with the website now. So please Nigeria. let let them know. Nigeria Cultural Parade dot com. Nigeria, not Nigerian, Correct. but Nigeria Cultural Parade dot com. And it's the same on social media. Everywhere. Instagram. Beautiful. Facebook, yeah. So guys, please join us as we celebrate Nigeria and her culture on October first, of course, and second, and of course starting from the thirtieth, which is a Thursday. I got it right. All right, well, don't touch the dial, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. Again, this is the show, our show, that revolves around the African community in diaspora, especially here in Houston, Texas, and of course, by extension, the United States of America. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far. Don't forget, that we have lineups for you from you know Clara and her team uh, hosting the Nigerian Day Festival um, on the 2nd of October 2020. It starts at 1 p.m. and ends at 7 p.m. Here where we display the culture, the tradition, the fashion, the beauty, of course the food about Nigeria um, on that day. Um, it's going to be at 11933 Bisonet Street, Houston, Texas, 77099. Please be there to join them. Of course, you will see the information at the bottom of our screen. And we hope to join. We hope to see them there. We will be there, so we hope to see you there. And on the second lineup, we hope you enjoyed our conversation with our guests, uh, Linda and Jane, as we talk about also the ones that are going to be um, hosting downtown Houston. Their starts at 4 p.m. and um, so yeah, starts at uh, 10 a.m. and ends at 4 p.m. Um, but it they begin on Thursday, the 30th, uh, at somewhere around the Galleria area where they're going to be showcasing the arts um, in Nigeria, you know, by Nigerians, of course, Ophili and the rest of the artists that are going to be doing their showcasing their work. Um, it's going to be around the gallery area. And then they have another one, 1400 Clay Street, not Clay Road, but Clay Street downtown Houston. Landmark is um, the Toyota Center in, in downtown Houston. And of course, 
you know, we are back. Like I said, we are bigger, we are better. We will also at Afrocentric TV, we are going to be celebrating and honoring our sponsors, those that have been supporting us over the years in terms of advertising financially and, you know, morally and encouraging us to keep us on air for the last six years. It's going to be our sixth year anniversary. And so on the low key, of course, you know, we're not trying to change anything. Um, we're going to be honoring them. And thanks to the mayor of Houston for proclaiming the 3rd of October as our day, Afrocentric TV Day in Houston, Texas. Mark your calendar. That is when we're going to be honoring them. I hope you enjoyed the show. And next time, I hope to bring my, my co-host, Ada. As we're missing her, we hope she joins us the next time. She's busy doing mommy's duty. And of course, she's got to be on the paper. So until next time, stay tuned. And please, you can follow us on all our social media handles, at Afrocentric TV, Afrocentric Television, and Instagram, and on Facebook. Until next time, I remain your host, Kola Akinwoyua. Take care. Bye-bye.